Hello, and welcome to ContentStacks Automation Hub, a visual workflow builder that uses a trigger action system to automate a repeatable set of tasks within ContentStack and third-party tools or apps with no need for code. To get started with Automation Hub, we log into ContentStack, and then we go to the organization view by going to clicking on the logo on the top left. Once there, we click on the Automation Hub icon or press the A key. And now we're located in the Automation Hub dashboard where we see a list of projects, the ability to create a new project over here or open an existing project. I'm going to go ahead and open an existing project here. Once you're in the project, you're going to have the ability to create new automations. And you also can take a look at an execution log to see what automations have already run or an audit log to see the automations created. Let's go ahead and create a new automation. I'm going to name my automation uh, notification to Slack and hit create. In this notification, whenever we um, create a new entry, we're going to send a Slack message to our team to let them know that a new item has been created. To get started here, we're going to first configure our trigger. The first step is going to be the content stack connector because that's what's going to initiate the action. Here are the different kinds of events we can listen to. Let's go ahead and listen to the entry trigger. You can see I've already configured my account here. If you haven't yet have an account here, then you can go ahead and click add new account and it'll ask you to authenticate the content stack and choose your stack and organization. Select event. We're going to do that only on entry creation, but as you can see, we have many other events here that we can listen to. Select stack. And here we can actually use our stack for our site, um, or you can also look up data from a previous step. Um, in this first step here, we, we, are, uh, we don't have any data yet, so we're just going to choose the Prime Sales Demo. Down here in optional fields, you can see we can additionally filter on a specific content type or an environment, and we additionally have an option to include reference parameters or query parameters. We're going to leave those empty for now. Go ahead and test trigger and this is one of the most important steps you can do when you're creating an automation. This test trigger is going to load the JSON from the entry into the automation and be available in future steps of the automation. So always click test trigger. What it's going to ask me to do is execute an event. What that means is this event here creating a new entry inside the prime sales demo. So I'm now going to go over to my prime sales demo and I'm going to click new entry and I'm just going to create, for example, a banner and hit proceed. And fill in any mandatory fields here. We see there's no mandatory fields. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then come back into your automation. We've already performed that action and we're going to say retest. And notice all the JSON properties that are loaded here. Okay, save and exit. You can skip step five. That's a conditional trigger that we're not going to cover here. Next step is configure the action step. So this is step two. So whenever an entry is created, now we're going to do something. And what do we want to do is that we're going to notify Slack and our colleagues with a Slack message. Action step. And here are all the pre-built connectors that Content Stack provides in Automation Hub. Let's scroll down and find the Slack connector. There's a Slack connector. I'm going to choose send message. And now we can go ahead and configure our Slack account. I've already done that. And then we over here, we can select channel and I'm going to search for my automations test channel. Oh, here it is right here. It takes just a second to find the, the things and there we go automations test and my message is going to be um, a new entry was created with the title and here's where the fun part comes in because we did the test action before and then came back in the content stack and did retest that's how we get this entry trigger populated down here so that data is coming from that test and now I can go ahead over here and search for dot title. And I can see that my, my title of my entry is right there. 
So this is a really important concept in Content Stack where the Automation Hub can um, include data from any previous step inside the next step. And here we're just including that data in our Slack message. Go ahead and hit Test Action. And that's going to um, send me a Slack message with the message text, a new entry was created with the title. The last step is of course saving uh, and exiting and then finally enabling the automation over there. As a wrap up, we can also go over here and um, create another new item to test it. And you can, we can also look in the log. So let's go ahead and make another new banner here just as a final test. And let's say banner two. Hit save, we created the new entry. We initiated the trigger and now an automation hub. What I'm going to do is take a look at my execution log and see if this is uh, yes, it's already in my log and it was success successful. And you can see here some more details about the automation execution. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video.